Well, time is ticking into a 60-day study to see if traffic improves at 10 intersections around the metro. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. The city turned some intersections into four-way stops like 50th and Underwood in August. On the first day of the study, we talked with Dundee residents worried about the change. And KTV News Watch 7's Jessica Perez joins us live at the intersection where the controversy continues. Jessica? Julie, Rob, this is what the intersection looks like right now. Now, traffic isn't as heavy as when we were here earlier today. Now, when the city first started this study, it said that data from the Federal Highway Administration showed removing unwarranted signals could reduce crashes and light violations. The city says this evaluation will end on October 21st. Right now, it's still collecting data to see if the changes at those 10 intersections will be beneficial. How do you feel about the stop signs? About the stop signs? There yeah. needs to be less of them. It's a common sentiment among Dundee drivers at the intersection of 50th and Underwood. Four-way stop signs now stand where traffic lights once did. The change is part of a citywide traffic study to see if lights at certain intersections should be removed. It feels a little dangerous standing here. I mean, they're just going and going, and then not everybody knows how to use a four-way stop. The de Klerks come to Eden Dundee often. Seeing not everybody makes a complete stop makes them nervous. It's more likely that a person will get hit at this intersection in the future. The four-way stop has slowed traffic, something the president of the Dundee Neighborhood Association welcomes. People are paying attention to each other instead of focusing on making a green light or getting through a yellow light. 20 year resident of Dundee, Kevin Penrod, believes it benefits pedestrians. Let's face it, Dundee is for pedestrians. So drivers lump it. We've been in the area about two and a half hours. It's a quarter to six. And as you can see, traffic's backed up, but I haven't had any trouble crossing the street. Singing dog buddy Lloyd and his friends say drivers have been kind and respectful of people crossing. They let Buddy cross. Buddy agrees, <laughs> yeah. His owner, Kevin Lloyd, would like to see one change. They could use a little bit of uh, more, more pedestrian signs saying maybe watch out for pedestrians. While some long for the days when traffic lights rained, others hope the change is permanent. So we just hope it meets whatever federal guidelines in terms of data points. The city traffic engineer says in some cases the additional data may be needed before making a decision. Again, one will come after the study ends on October 21st. Jessica Perez, KTV News Watch 7.